Didn't see you there. Just came from my favorite restaurant here in Orlando. It's called Tiny's. Cool, sweet little local spot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm at Universal Studios. On what looks to be a beautiful, beautiful night. Man, this area, the New York section of the park, is my favorite spot for decorations. It just looks so nice. I'm currently here just walking through the streets on a relatively busy Saturday night here at Universal Studios. Actually, this isn't any regular Saturday night. This is actually a pretty special Saturday night, which in turn makes this a very special episode of Vincent Vision. Yes, it is busy out here in these streets of Universal, but the night is coming to an end. Things are starting to dwindle down and soon the park will be closed. But you know what? I think I'm gonna stay. It's okay, I'm able to. I've got something that will allow me to do that. That thing that's gonna give me the power to stay tonight is this. Check it out. Does that say what I think it says? OMG, Orlando Informer Meet, uh, meet, meet up. <laughs> that's right, baby. Vincent Vision is back at another Orlando Informer Meet up. Christmas edition. This is the second meetup they have done this year. The first one was in June, which was my first time ever going, and I had such an awesome time, so it was a big surprise to me, and I think a lot of other people, to find out that they were doing it again, this time in December, which is now. It's December now, so I am now here at my second meetup. Ooh. Those who don't know what entails in an Orlando and former meetup, basically it's both parks, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, to essentially yourself. It's really, really awesome. There are little to no waits for all of the rides, and that's true. Last time I was like, oh, I don't really think that's gonna be true. Everything was like five minutes. The park is open till 1 a.m. And then, most importantly, my favorite part. They got free unlimited food. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's actually insane. And since this one's happening in December, this is technically the holiday meetup. So they have advertised that there are going to be special holiday offerings here in the park. I know we've got the Hogwarts show exclusively for the event, but I'm interested to see what else is going on. So I'm very excited for the event, but an event like this is best enjoyed with friends. So may I introduce to you the Inside Universal Boys! That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Brian and Drew from Inside Universal. We're back at our second, both of our, all of our second. seconds. It's cool. Our second ones. We're very, very excited. It's going to be a great time. And since it is the holiday meetup, I have got my special holiday hat. Here, give me a second. Just like we all agreed, we're all, we got our holiday hats, right? Yes, I'm wearing mine. Okay. All right. This is gonna be uh, interesting. Let's get started, shall we? The event is officially underway. The regular park closed at eight o'clock and they're starting to push all the guests out now. If you have your wristband, you can go ride the rides during this time, but I am very, very hungry and the food does not start until nine o'clock. We're here in the Springfield section of the park to get some free food, which is the actual food from the park, by the way. This isn't like some special cafeteria menu for special events. No, no, this is the food that they serve during the day for free, unlimited amounts. <laughs> But we are definitely not the only people here who are trying to take advantage of that. Food lines just opened up, and this is a line of people waiting for bumblebee tacos. Which is crazy. Here at Duff Gardens, they are serving a foot-long hot dog. I needed this. Can I have half of that? If you eat this lady in the tram style, I will. I'll do it. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, 
That is one of the many, many food stops we're gonna be taking tonight here at the event. But while we're here, let's go hang out in the New York section of the park where they got a party going on. Oh, look, it's snowing. Wow. They even got the shows going on, private shows for the Atlanta Informer meetup. The characters walking around, interacting with people. Oh, they got a DJ going on out here. They got Woody Woodpecker leading the cha-cha slide. Oh boy. So far, so cool things here at the Orlando Informer meetup, but it's only 10 o'clock. We got a lot, a lot of ways to go. So we're gonna go ahead and take the party over to IOA, Islands of Adventure, with a cool secret passage. We're taking a cool little shortcut between the sound stages of Universal. We're here on Candy Cane Road or Christmas Road or Rainbow Road or whatever you wanna call it. Down this very, very, very blue. Oh, now it's red. Never mind. Oh, it's purple now. Oh, it's back to red. Jeez Louie, okay. And after our little passage, we are in Islands of Adventure. Islands of Adventure is of course home to the most thrilling rides here at Universal. So I can't wait to hop on the Hulk with no weight. They made me ride Sue's trolley. And then we pick up my dad. Take a walk. Our like beautiful a islands of adventure. You might catch a fish oh. with a checkerboard belly. Or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. Say, that makes a story that no one can beat. Yes, yes, Sky is all very fun and interesting and lovely at night, but while I'm here in Seuss's Landing here in Whoville, there's one particular character that I would like to meet. Ladies and gentlemen, what? the Grinch. Where? Hi. <coughs> oh, me. Yes, you. Hi. Hello. You're Hello. welcome. Yes, thank you, thank uh -huh. you. You like the hat? No. Well, at least you're honest. You're welcome. Yeah, uh -huh. all right, good talk. <laughs> Another big draw of this event is getting to meet the characters with little to no lines. Especially a character like the Grinch, who is very, very hard to catch and is a very, very long line all the time during the day. Ah, Hogsmeade at night it is lovely this time of year. And oh, look at that! So while we're here in the village, we're gonna pay a visit to Hogwarts Castle. Check it out. Hogwarts Castle, all to myself. <laughs> See, this is very cool. Even just having, even just being able to walk through Hogwarts Castle by itself is still a pretty cool experience. Red is a trigger color. Put that behind your back. Oh no, no, sorry, I'm sorry. Stay calm. Now it is supposed to raptor mating season here. Now, raptor mating can be quite fun, all right? Go! Get out of there, get out of there! Let's see what's going on over at Skull Island tonight. On the topic of going through lines by yourself, Skull Island is maybe one you don't really want to go through alone. Oh yeah. Don't got a good feeling about this one. Okay, this is embarrassing. Literally, as soon as I got into this restaurant, my stupid hat got stuck in the tree. Great. What they got going on here in Marvel? They got a dance party. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Gonna get copyright flag. Let's keep going. Heading back to Universal Studios via Rainbow Road. Man, this is probably my favorite part of this event. I love this tunnel. Huh. I don't know if it's because of the Blues Brothers show that's happening, but they've got snow. Kind of very faintly coming down onto the street. The party is still going on over here at the DJ booth. The streets have definitely died down. It's a lot less crowded than it was earlier. And it hasn't died down just because these two are here. Also, starting to get 
a little colder. It's a little closer to one now. It's very, very cold and very humid. You can see the fog. I saw it earlier, okay? And it's cold. I think I, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get out of here. But you know what? I have had a very, very good time. I've had a fantastic time. About an hour left to go in this event. And if I was riding rides, I would definitely take advantage of that and just ride some more rides. But with how low everything's been, I probably would have been done by now. This has been a really, really awesome second meetup. Woohoo! Go me! Woo! Thank you, Orlando Informer, for having me here at the event, letting me hang out and see this again. I'm actually really, really surprised. I've had a lot of people come up to me today and tell me, hey, we saw your video about the last meetup and that kind of inspired us to go today. And that made me feel like a freaking rock star. <laughs> hey, this event really, really is an awesome, awesome deal. And I know, I know, I know it just sounds like I've been blowing smoke up Orlando Informer's butt about this, but you guys who watch my videos, you know me, I'm a very honest person. If I don't like something, I will speak up and say something about it. And I really do believe that this event, for what you pay versus what you get, is fantastic. If you don't get to come to Orlando very often, if you are like a lot of people who only get to come to Orlando maybe once a year, or maybe every couple of years, doing this event is probably the best way to experience Universal, apart from going to the parks for multiple days. Unless you like really like the daylight or something, if you're like really the fan of like the morning and the sun, maybe this event isn't the best event for you. But if you like short waits, free food, and walking around the park without having it be shoulder to shoulder, you gotta check out an Orlando Informer meetup, truly. But hey, thank you for watching Vincent Vision. Thank you for checking out my cool hat. Please be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. You gotta check out this event. I know I'm drilling it home a thousand times, but if you are coming to Orlando and you want to experience Universal and you only got one day or one night, do this, truly. I will say, my only regret is that I didn't get the food and stick it in my backpack and bring it to my house so I could have some food to eat for a couple days, like free groceries. That and I didn't get to see the green eggs and ham, which I guess just means I'll have to be here for the next one. But that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision and uh, see you around. Have a good night.